Hey everybody, welcome down to the video and I am joined by a very special guest today, Mr. Grant Horvat. Hey. We're shaking hands for the 60th time in the last few days. Uh, we have been playing out here in Florida, we're at the Cape Club of Palm City. And over the last few days, Grant has really shown what an exceptional golfer he is, but also you've got a new coaching channel as well, which is called? Grant Horvat teaches. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah, nothing too much, <laughs> nothing to it. And I have actually been struggling a lot with my irons and I've not had anyone look at my swing for quite some time. Grant believes that he has seen some things within my technique that can help me out. And boy, oh boy. Oh, that is so bad. Do I need it? So we're just gonna go straight into a live lesson. Talk to me, tell yeah, me what I need. I just wanna, I wanna lay it out first. Pete strikes his irons compression wise better than anyone I've played with on the YouTube space. Divots every single time are about this long. The handle's way ahead at impact. So we're not worried about flipping or anything like that. No. Or scooping or any of that. So one thing that I've seen though is the direction of your irons mm -hmm. has been right and left. And it tends to work sometimes away from the target. Yeah. And like one thing in golf, obviously if you're hitting a fade, starting left working towards the pin or that draw is working towards the pin. Uh, so yeah, let's hit a couple irons. All right, so I've got my six iron here. I'm gonna go down towards that red pin. That's a green. I'm gonna go down towards that green You're your colorblind. I remember yeah, you telling me that. a little bit. So that was really good. Yeah. Um, Done, thanks for watching. So you naturally hit a fade. Yes, but um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get my flight a little bit more neutral. Right. Just simply because norm, as I start to get into my fade swing, the club moves steeper, it moves over. Yeah. And then by the end, yes, I'm hitting a fade, but I'm also taking a divot the size of a small fox. <laughs> And I can't like not strike the toe. Yeah, and I that's what I that's exactly what I want to talk about. So I think when you try and hit a fade, your path starts to get more in the hands, start to move out more and more and more. And by the end of it, you're working so hard to the left that mm -hmm. you're probably gonna hit it off the toe. Yeah. Because the club is exiting so hard to the left towards your body, your hands are moving. Um, and that's when that divot starts to aim over there. Yeah. And one thing in golf that really stuck with me was actually in college, my coach, mm -hmm. he was a teacher and he, he got us a track man. Um, That's very nice of him. Yeah, it, was a, it wasn't actually his, it was a, like an assistant coach and he yeah. got us a track man and we used to hit on this track man. And one thing he talked about is how tour pros, especially when they're hitting wedges and their path in general, is almost all of them are actually hitting the inside of the golf ball they rarely are swiping across it. Mm -hmm. So he's saying, looking at statistical data from TrackMan that they're hitting the inside, even if they're hitting a fade. So they're hitting those shallow fades, like yeah, Dustin yeah. Johnson, yeah, yeah. he's hitting a shallow fade. So what I think you could feel is, you just gave me a lesson, which is hilarious, and you were working on kind of the opposite <laughs> from what I'm, we're trying to find the middle ground of oh, both of us. I think together, like our hybrid golfer would actually be actually really good. Oh, he'd be, he'd be so insane. Good. Yeah, he really would. I just personally think the path and the flight. I would like to see a path working slightly more out to the right, mm -hmm. with also that draw tendency, hitting some draws. Because yeah. You did hit a draw with your irons, and it was one of the best shots I saw all day. Oh yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. And all the fades, they didn't want to fade. They stayed straight. Yeah. And you were aimed pretty far to the left. You were very open with your body. Well, I mean, trying we, to work a fade. Yeah, we spoke about this really kind of during the rounds. It's, it's been, it's been a bit of a struggle to actually get the feeling of where I'm aiming. It right. It feels so odd at times. I feel so, like I'm aiming left. Yeah, I'm aiming I would, right. I'll grab this alignment stick here. I would love. Square off a little more. It's gonna feel close to you in your brain. So we're going to that green flag. Uh, so right now, right. obviously, I mean, you wanna be parallel left. Mm -hmm. um, I think coming back here, it's not bad for hitting a fade. I think it's gonna to have to bend a lot. Okay. Like I think that's, in that uh, position, yeah. that's gonna to have to bend a lot. Yeah, and so I think that's just hard to actually control that much fade. It I mean, really is. With a, with a parallel alignment, by the way, that term we just used, we kind of want the feet to be parallel left to the target. Yeah. So if you imagine a couple of train tracks going down towards the target, 
we want the ball to be sitting on target line and the feet to be parallel to that. And yeah, I feel like a lot of people don't know when you don't actually align right at the flag, you align parallel left of the flag. Yeah. But even parallel left, this is still- I'm aim left there. Visibly- Yeah, left left. Way too far left. So I feel like I would love to see you hit the inside of the golf ball. We aim just left of the target. So that's gonna feel extremely closed off. That's gonna be just left. And I would love to see some trap draws that are working towards the pin, that feeling. Does that feel crazy in your head? Yeah, yeah, so you've not got me aiming at that yellow flag, have you? No. Right. So that's where you feel. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. That is just, that sound is beautiful. Like that oh. is not a bad shot. That path is actually working perfectly. That club is bottoming out perfect. I wanna say this really quick. I took a video of Peter Swing and it was one of the most beautiful golf swings I've looked on camera, rotationally, everything. And it was that wedge shot actually on number 10, the par five that you airmailed to the left. Um, <laughs> But positions oh, wise, shot of the day. yeah, and it was in positions wise and rotational. I mean, the lower body is perfectly sequenced up with the upper body. Everything looks great. I truly just think your path is working a little too intensely to the left. To the left, yeah. So, I would just say that. I mean, no, no, it's it's right. And like with, um, I'm just gonna go down. To I just think it's hard to control something when you're hitting on a deflecting angle. Yeah. So like with with path, by the way, when we're talking about. So if if my path was moving this way, that's to the right of the target line, this way is to the left of the target line. And it's this motion here that's becoming the issue. Right. Because it is such a toe strike, honestly. It's yeah, like yeah. so annoying. And with these irons as well, like if you strike it out the toe. You'd... Or if you're just hitting weeks, like if you're hitting little slappy fades, you know, yeah. you're hitting across it, it's not gonna go as far either. No. It's gonna go super short. Okay, so just get the feeling a little bit. Yeah, it's so weird to... Yeah, that's still slightly swiped. Oh, I know. Just a little bit. Oh. And I know that that's hard in your brain, but I just want to see that path. I mean, just go down the line more. Like these are, it's hard. You don't always want to read a divot. That's not the best thing to do. I mean, because divots can be slightly misleading sometimes, mm. but I just feel like that feeling of exiting more, you don't have to like shove your hand path out to the right, but just going down that alignment stick and feeling a draw in your yeah. mind. Oh, I was like trying that. so hard. Yeah. So what's happening now, starting left and going left. So we still, yeah, that could be a little bit too closed with the face, but I would love to see it start right of that green target and actually work towards the target. Okay. What, what, what can I do, Graham? What, what can I do to get it moving further right? I, I mean, obviously we can take your alignment. Yeah. We can move it more to the right in your brain to throw it off a little bit and start to really try and close that face down because you're used to pulling and dragging mm -hmm. all rotation, which is great. Yeah, yeah. But to just, to level it out a little bit, I feel like we need to aim maybe a little right of the target. Oh my God. And I want to see like a high Rory draw where it starts nice and high to the right and it's working towards the green target. Jeez. And I know that's uncomfortable for you, Pete. That is not your shot shape. God, you've got me aiming at Miami here. I know. No, it's really not. If you guys come back here, he's aimed just right of the flag. Here, is that right? Is he telling the truth? Okay. We're close. That was pretty. That was pretty. I love that golf swing. It just looks so beautiful. The strike, you're shallow. Yeah, I mean that that little bit of shallowness there was was good. So key, the key really for me is if we get that feeling of moving it more in this direction is not doing this. It's not that. No. We don't want that because then you lose it. We still want to rotate. We want to hit rotational draws. Yeah. Move it right. Roll rotational it draw. draws. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Oh, that was pretty close, that wasn't it? That's what I want to see. That's it. That was pretty close. That was beautiful. Man. It's just crazy how Pete compresses his irons. Like he's hitting butter nice right now. He's hitting irons that are the hardest to hit and he hits them really solid every single time. It's really impressive. Yeah. One of the best ball strikers I've been around. It just feels um, so weird. Huh? Yeah. Come on. Same thing, high draw. There we go. That's the one. There it is. Kind of with, with Trapman, with launch models, that's something that's actually been shown kind of really recently with Dustin, yeah, like real kind of hot player in the world right now, Victor Hovland. That's what he does. Right. He's kind of a shallow fader. Right. So he moves this way and then this way. Right. Yeah. So. And he's almost, he pits like pulls almost. Oh, yeah. He's very closed it, off and he's rotating, pulling left. It's kind of wild. Victor's a wonderful swing to look at. But I just love that high draw ball flight. Nice. And I think even your misses, see, I would consider that a slightly thin miss. Slightly thin, yeah. But the thing is that miss versus the toe exiting so hard to the left mm. miss, that almost makes it the same distance as a yeah. normal shot. The yeah, other yeah. one comes up 10, 15 yards short. Yeah, when it starts to come out of the, yeah, especially the toe out of these clubs. It's, I just uh, really like that. And that's, you're not swinging that far out to the right. You're kind of zeroed out on your path. Yeah, I, I know you're right. <laughs> like it feels like you're swinging out to the right. You're actually zeroed out. Um, it's a little overdone. I'm, that's a perfect path. So obviously face was a hair closed. Now listen, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, like the, the strikes here are instantly better. So I've got to, I've got to be able to trust you. The, the alignment for me is just wild, like instantly. Yeah, and I love that. I want you to feel that that feels a little uncomfortable. You could move it a little back in your stance. It is very far forward from that front on angle. I know it is a six iron, but it's almost a driver position. Really? There we go. There. Gosh, that was compressed. Yeah, just was right. Good. It just didn't have that draw. And it's obviously probably pretty hard to draw it with these jumbo size grips. What do you mean? I just played with Bryson recently and he was hitting draws with him, so yeah. you can do it. Thanks. I know you can. Be more Bryson. It's right. just crazy. Like it's crazy how are that now are those clubs flat or are they two standard? degrees flat, yeah. Two degrees flat. All right, come on. Yeah, you, do you feel very closed off in your brain right now? Like when you look up at that target, what do yeah, you feel? Yeah, I mean, I'm, when I'm going down, just uh, I'll look at this. Yeah, when I'm, going when I'm going down here, I'm aiming, I feel like I'm aiming. See that kind of like box just the side of the green? Yeah. Like right of that. Okay, gotcha. So when I'm looking up and I'm seeing that strike and I see that last one take off on there, that feels... Does it feel super uncomfortable? It does, just because I feel I'm looking over my left shoulder to the target. Right. So rather than looking up and then seeing L in front of me, I'm like right. looking over this side. But aim is a, it's like when you change your grip. Yeah, exactly. It feels horrible. It feels horrible, yeah. But everything looks so All right, come on, draw. And I would even, I think you like to get this handle super high and forward. Mm -hmm. I would even just back it off a little bit the forward press and the hand, how high the handle is, lower it down, back it off. Because you're starting very high and with a little bit of a press. There we go. That looks really good. Neutral setup. There we go. That's what I was waiting to see. Just left of the target, but distance and compression, like that's that piercing yeah. I just love that. That and I'm I'm biased cuz I always favor a draw bias because I feel like it's so hard to fade the ball consistently. I just with your irons. When when you have especially like a pitching wedge when when I'm playing with people that are trying to fade a pitching wedge, it's just you can't really move it much. So I feel like when you get to those it's good to hit the inside of the golf ball and always be working slightly. Yeah, the setup feels quite nice actually. All right, come on. 
inside rotational drill. It's obviously a little bit behind it, but it's still gonna go super far. So all your distances are right next to the pin. Yeah. And I mean, you weren't having trouble with your distance. Like you were still air mailing greens with your old. <laughs> oh, I know. Like, but I feel like that could have maybe been caused by a steep angle of attack, takes the spin off, they kind of jump on you. Well, these are so much less kind of those slappy fades. Yeah, I just, I just, there's something about the way that works. And I really want, I want you to start that in between that power box and the flag mm -hmm. and get it to work black, right back to that green target. Nice. That is the one. That is the one I've wanted to see right there. That was a swing. I just, I don't know what it is about that. That was good. And it's crazy because in your brain, you feel so closed off, so everything, but you're really neutral. Like you're barely aimed right at the flag. And from this view, I think your alignment is wonderful. Well, it's very nice of you to say. Like this view, you are all, you're just right at the flag. Like just set up for a perfect draw. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Go in. I mean. Oh my. That's ha good. Happy? I I'm, I'm happy. Now, are you happy? Because you like fades, so Not this anymore. could last for maybe a day. Not anymore. Um, no, it's, it is very much a case of, you know, it's been an issue for a while, but I've not had a lesson right. in ages as well. So I've just been doing what I feel comfortable with, which means I've been getting more and more open, more and more steep and doing that kind of yeah, swing. I think, so, it, I think it starts with alignment. Of course it does. I yeah, think yeah. everything starts because if you were actually a little bit right of the flag, maybe closed off, you would naturally start to move to the mm -hmm. inside. But I feel like you get more and more open. Yeah. And then by this time you're hitting a seven iron from 160 and you're you're trying to fade it that far and it's just difficult. Yeah. It is difficult oh, to no. fade the ball. Absolutely, and it's, a, it's something which you so often overlook. Remember, golf is a target oriented sport. If you don't actually understand where you're aiming, if you don't get that right, that will affect your swing. Right. You know, if you're aiming miles left of the target and then trying to get it to go over there, that's going to affect your swing to try and push it over to that point. But no, that's good, mate. Um, I'm going to look back at that footage and actually see what that swing looks like. Yeah. So, guys, thank you so much for watching, Grant, mate. Really, hey, appreciate, really, course. really appreciate thank that. You. Make sure you check out Grant's both his channels now. And if you haven't subscribed here already, please do both of the Swing Quest and the Peter Fincher Golf channel.